every golfer that I teach has a different golf swing. You've got a different golf swing to me, I've got a different golf swing to all the students that I've taught in person, and we could probably definitely agree on this point too. Jim Furyk has one of the weirdest looking swings in the world. So therefore, the argument of actually having to have, in inverted commas, a perfect golf swing is pretty much null and void, right? There's no point us all trying to swing the golf club the same. What I want you to have, what I've been preaching about for years, is actually having a smoother golf swing to develop a more penetrating ball flight. Smooth, buttery golf shots like that. So what you will learn in today's video is learn to have better tempo, learn to become more efficient with that finesse style shot, and most importantly, this is going to help you lower your scores. I like reckon guaranteed four shots better. Now that might sound crazy, but just missed strikes are costing you so much. So let me go back to that argument. You don't have to swing it perfect. You're going to learn to score today with better tempo, more finesse, because that's really all that matters, that you know your swing. I also think Jim Furyk said this is one of the best golf lessons he has ever had. And what I'm trying to get across to you today is, forget about a perfect swing, think more about tempo and learning to swing your swing. So there are a few stages to develop that buttery tempo and penetrating ball flight. First thing I want you to do is go and grab your eight iron and just hit a full one. Literally, what you would say is a full out hard swing. So like this. Find out exactly how far that goes. This is a little downwind today. I don't really hit eight iron 173 yards usually, but I'm just playing it in the conditions that I've got today. So my full out eight iron right here, right now, just flew 173 yards. Now you don't need any swing launch monitor. You can do this on the golf course. You probably know how far you hit your eight iron. In fact, let me know down below in the comments exactly how far you hit your AI full out. You know, like Sunday best, out your boots, full out. So once you've got that yardage, if it's 140, 150, or actually a, a crazy length today, like 173, I'm a little bit baffled by that, but it is downwind, as I say. I then want you to go and grab your seven iron. Oh, that is ridiculously dirty. Come on, if you ever came to a lesson like that with me, I would tell you off. I'm actually a bit disgraced about how dirty that is. So, go and grab your seven iron, and what I'm gonna ask you to do now, whether you're at the driving range or you're on the golf course, is try and hit this seven iron right here the exact same distance you just hit your eight iron. Now, that is 100% gonna require a smoother swing. So to bring that in, I would maybe grip down a little bit. So somewhere around there, I might even move the ball a little bit further back in my stance. But what I will 100% do is make a smoother, buttery golf swing. Just look at the difference in that flight. That felt like I could literally do that all day long. And this is really my point. Like, did you see that flight? My eight iron went really high on the first one. Yes, it was a good shot, but the likelihood of that happening on a full out swing is a lot less than that shot I just hit there. That seven iron was buttery. It was smooth. It was under control. And if you can do that on 80 to 85% of your iron shots with that same mentality of one club longer, make it smoother, you're gonna strike it better you're gonna hit more greens, and that is going to drop your scores. This is something I've been preaching for years. This is what Jim Furyk even shot 59 or 58 with that mentality with. So why aren't we all using it? Why are we stood here trying to blast it? Well, maybe I took a little bit too much off this compared to where the AI went last time. But I tell you what, that flight, it would have been middle of the green. It wouldn't have been far away. Let's try one more. So I, I guess the idea is really, really simple. Set a benchmark with one club shorter and then try and hit one club longer the exact same distance. Making sure you've got that buttery smooth tempo. Your control level is gonna go up three or four pegs. Right, let me hit this one away here. Let's see if we get this a little bit closer. Then we'll talk through some real world scenarios like this hole right here. One of the hardest par threes. <laughs> 
That just literally felt like I could do that all day long. I need to do this way more. Look at this shot. I just got that one nailed, 172. So let's now talk through some real world scenarios. Let's take the 16th right here. So this is the 16th hole, par three here at Mocham Hall, 209 yards. Let's use that exact same mentality. Now on this win today, that 209 for me would be like an all out five iron, like hit it hard because it's downwind, it will get there. But I'm gonna do the exact opposite. I'm gonna hit a smooth, for Ryan. So I'm bringing in the exact same mentality, the exact same drill, the exact same process and discovery of taking one club longer, swinging smoother. And you know what? That ball flight comes a little bit lower. It becomes more penetrating. Go back to what I said you would learn at the start of this video. Better tempo, become more efficient and learn to score because you're not hitting the ball out of play. Here we go. I've got my four iron and I've just actually lasered that flag. It's 202 yards. I'm gonna grip down, swing it smoother. Look at this trajectory. It's going back to what I said about the eight iron, much higher, much more loose, much more a bit of a lottery. Seven iron, a little bit lower, more penetrating, more control. All right. <laughs> so I could do that all day long. Well, that's a definite dancing. And when you've got a par three like this, that's exactly what you want. When we're trying to hit it 202 and we hit it 198, I am absolutely over the moon with that. I've also just thought like, look at it even in like today's conditions, having that sort of three quarter shot, like three quarter speed, I'm not gonna let the ball go wild in the wind. It's almost just gonna go straight through it. Look where that one has just finished. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. On a par three like this, which you, you're gonna be staring bogey in the face, you hit the green, that is one shot, possibly even two, saved right there. Oh, knee knocker. See if we can convert. <laughs> Whew, par. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel here for free, simple golf tips five times a week.